I just show you this here. I'm gonna show how to install Rage Plugin. So basically, Rage Plugin is it's a launcher for our mods like LSPDFR, uh, some plugins too like EUP menu and stuff like that. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and open your browser. So type Rage Plugin Hook dot net. Link will be in the description. Then what you wanna do is click download now. Then click Grand Theft Auto Legacy. Then click on the newest version that is the highest up. And this may be another version. Then what you wanna do, if you're on Chrome, drag this here. Drag this to the, your desktop and close your browser down. And if you're on another browser, you'll probably find it in your download folder. Then the, go ahead and double click this. Just let it sit here for a minute. Then what you want to do is open your GTA 5 directory. I will have a link in the description on how to open your GTA 5 directory. So when you have opened your GTA 5 directory, go ahead and drag in this file. Only this file, not anyone else. This is for like developers and stuff like that. Drag in this here in this white space, not in any folder or anything, just in this white space. This won't pop up for you if it's your first time, but I already have it, so I'm gonna replace. Okay, so now when you install the Rage Plugin Hook, the thing you wanna do is close down this and close down your zip folder. And you can delete this from your disk. Okay, so the first time this will pop up, it's like a thing you have to read through if you want, you don't have to read. And the first time it will pop up this menu, and basically what you can do is change your console key, to what you press on to get up the uh, Rage Plugin menu where you can spawn vehicles, stuff like that. If you have a ba bad computer, you can type in 60,000 instead of 10,000. I keep it on 10,000, but if I have any problems, I usually change that. Then here you have plugins. Mm, like LSPD first response, LSPDFR, license plate randomizer, and EUP menu. You can also choose load all plugins to start up, but here's basically where you choose your plugins to load up. Advanced settings, you don't have to do anything there right now if you don't have major problems with the game. Then, I just want to give you a pro tip. Um, you should here back up your current game version, go ahead and click there. Then what you want to do is click here and you will see the reverse dead where you can revert. So if let's say uh, it has a back, it has a update GTA 5, has an update and Rage Plugin Hook can support that update. Then you can revert to your old GTA 5 um, version if you back it up. So now I just backed it up and I have it here and it's supported. Then what you want to do is uh, click exit and the next time you'll open it, it it will just launch those plugins you chose to launch and i just want to show you a thing that is a problem for me i have to launch gta 5 before i launch this plugin hook so when the like a window setup menu comes up like when this thing where you have to confirm gta 5 i launch the rage plugin but yeah uh, if you have any problems with this please comment it down below i want to help as many of you as possible but uh, if this helped you please like share it to someone you know will need this and please subscribe if you liked it so you'll get notified on every video i publish and bye and i'll see you guys in the next